Welcome back, Blade Lovers. This old sword with you. We've got a very interesting knife today. You could call it, if you wish, a novelty knife. It's sort of in the Japanese tradition of a what I would call a stick knife or what they had done in the past with uh, Tonto knives. Um, it is by Sativian, who is now uh, producing a number of folders and different designs that we see out on Amazon. And uh, this is Damascus. It truly is Damascus, as near as I can tell, with a VG10 core. And an interesting little spider design on there. Hopefully um, that's not trademarked by Spiderco. Looks a little different from their spider, but then again, who knows? I hear when Spyderco sees a hole in a design of a blade that they immediately go rushing for their lawyers, or uh, perhaps not my exaggeration. Um, going to give you the dimensions right off my screen here of the phone, so you can do a screenshot of that. So I'll read those as well, and they're probably not going to pop up on the screen. I don't know that you need those, uh, but if you do, you can refer to that screenshot. We have an overall length when this is put together, which you'll see in a minute, of 5.67 inches. It's got a blade length of 2.44 inches and a handle length of 2.83 inches. And uh, I'll zoom in here, which is going to be better than what you can see in real life, there is the construction, okay? And you might say, well, you know, what the heck can you use this for? I've been carrying it around in my pocket for a week now. And uh, it's nicely fashioned. It's got, and I did put the sheath on the wrong way. Unfortunately, it can only go on one way, and there it is, nice and flush. We've got a brass spacer that goes all the way around and then we've got uh, what appears to be kind of a fiber um, a little bit on the shiny side spacer on the sheath side so um, there you can see the layers of Damascus and right there you can see the VG10 core should be pretty clear on the video so it is a sandwiched uh, San Mai, if you will. All for 30 bucks, 29 bucks and change on Amazon. I'll put the link out there in case you're interested. It is a flat oval profile along the length of it. Um, and the length is interesting because uh, you martial arts guys out there, or uh, self-defense, what have you, if you hold it, like this, you have a pocket stick, okay, with uh, some pretty well-defined points. The wood is ebony, forgot to mention that, and their photographs show a lanyard, a little leather rawhide piece that goes through that. That did not come with mine, but of course you can put paracord through there or your own leather or what have you, your choice if you want to do that. There's no way to carry this other than in a pocket. You can carry it in your back pocket. You can carry it in your front pocket, jacket pocket, what have you. Um, the weather in your area is going to affect, I think, how tightly this comes together over time. But for right now, it seals and seats pretty darn well. The ebony wood is quite nice. It's dark with some grain to it. Um, got a few little streaks here and there, but for the most part, it's nearly black. It's a dark brown. And uh, comfortable to hold in the hand that way. It kind of uh, molds to the hand. If you squeeze real hard, you do feel it begin to separate. But it's, uh, you know, one of those unique things you can hold the knife pretty comfortably with your thumb on the back 
and because of the taper um, you're not too prone to have it slide backwards because your little finger and your ring finger kind of hold it in place it's kind of seats in the hand you could use the guard to kind of put your finger around that way put your thumb on the back and you know last ditch little cutting device comes through reasonably sharp although you could touch it up and it's not real grabby but it's got a fine edge it's got what you call kind of a shaving sharp edge I've been seeing some knives come through like that as they had in the past I remember for a while Benchmade knives were all like that they had a polished edge that was not aggressive at all it would cut paper but that's about it look at the pattern kind of nice the um, referring back to my phone here again in that screenshot um, 33 layers of stainless steel is the outer steel and the core is VG10 so um, not a high-end Damascus but it is a stainless Damascus and does have a nice pattern and uh, the spider's kind of cool you know and it is a, a useful knife you can drop in your pocket Again, I think it falls into the novelty category. I can't see that. The only little issue, again, is that it fits one way, but does not fit the other way. And that's simply the way that it's been carved out inside, I believe. So that is the Sativian... ST two oh one might be something you're interested in for thirty bucks. Carry around in the pocket. Add to part of the collection. I'll be reviewing at least one other Sativian, which will be a conventional uh frame lock or uh liner lock knife very shortly I did pick one of those up as well from Amazon so hope you enjoyed this quick review of this interesting little knife and we'll be back with you soon don't forget to give it a like and subscribe